Pray ng Panginoon at uh, tunay nga napaka buti na Panginoon na sa bawat umaga ay hindi tayo nakakalimutan ng Panginoon sapagkat uh, patuloy ang kanyang binibigay sa atin kanyang kahabagan at ang kanyang uh, biyaya sa atin, ang kanyang pag-ibig na hindi na, nagmamaliw. Amen? Hindi na, hindi na puputol, hindi nagmamaliw at dakila ang katapatan ng Diyos sa atin na laging bago sa bawat umaga. Amen? Uh, puri ng Panginoon uh, at uh, sa kanyang kabutihan na mabilis man na, na natatapos ang bawat mga araw ay uh, masabi natin uh, ang Diyos ay hindi nagbabago. Amen? Hindi nagbabago sa kanyang uh, kung paano niya tayo pinagpapala, kung paano niya tayo inaingatan, kung kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. So sa umagang uh, sa gabi, uh, sorry, sa hapon na ito ay muli ay tayo ay uh, paglala at pinaglaanan ng Panginoon ay isang napangagandang mensahe. Amen. At uh, buksan natin ang ating mga mga Biblia sa John 10. John 10 uh, from verses 10 to 11. John 10 Verses 10 to 11. So whatever version you have with you, whether it's Tagalog or, or English version, let us all read. Let us all read together. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Sa Tagalog po, ang magnanakaw ay dumarating lamang upang magnakaw, pumatay at pumuksa. Ako'y pumarito upang sila'y magkaroon ng buhay at magkaroon ito ng may kasaganaan. Ako, mabuting pastol, ibinibigay ng mabuting pastol ang kanyang buhay para sa mga lupa. Tunay nga, O Diyos, napakabuti mo, Panginoon, at tunay nga, nais mo kami pagpalain sa hapon na ito, sa araw na ito, na kami po ay uh, we'll come together, O God, to uh, worship you, we'll come together, O God, to thank you, we'll come together, O God, to seek your face, to seek your word, O Lord, and we pray, O God, that the Holy Spirit will continue, Lord, to guide us, Lord, that uh, through this uh, through this word, It will help us, O oh God, Lord, to uh, know know You better, O oh God, to know Your plans for us, Lord. And uh, as You promised, O oh God, we are blessed because those who read and those who hear the word of this prophecy and those who keep it, Lord, will be blessed because the time is near. In Jesus' name, we pray. I. Uh, Praise the Lord. At uh, ilan sa atin nakakilala kay John Rockefeller? Amen. Napaka tunog ng pangalan niyan sa Amerika because Sir Rockefeller is one of the first uh, billionaire. Amen. American billionaire uh, noong 19 uh, 1900s. So masabi natin during that time to be a, a billionaire is napakalaki pong uh, sabi natin na uh, Uh, news sapagkat uh, si Dr. Rockefeller po ay masabi nating one of the richest men in his time. At masabi natin in this modern in the modern history is the richest person to become a billionaire during that time, 1900s. Pero meron some uh, uh, reporter interviewed him and uh, he, the reporter asked him how much money is enough? How much money is enough? He responded by saying, a little bit more. Amen? A little bit more. So makita natin uh, in, in the life of Rockefeller, Rockefeller na hindi pa rin siya satisfied with all these billions na sa kanya. Amen? So uh, ay sa ating binasag, Jesus wants to give us abundant life. And uh, sa ating panahon naman ngayon, uh, sabi nga in 2018, ah, uh, Uh, the world so amen nakita ng mundo na mayroong nag-emerge na 100 billionaire 
sa mundong ito, 28 100 billionaire. I mean, hindi na billions lang pinag-uusapan, hindi naging 100 billion dollar man siya. I mean, ang pangalan niya ay si Jeff Bezos. I don't know if you know him, but Jeff Bezos is uh, the richest man in the world. Natalo pa niya si Bill, si, uh, si Bill Gates. Siya yung founder and CEO and president of uh, the company called Amazon. Amen? Amazon is the multinational technology, uh, the world's largest online ano, uh, sales company. As of today, masabi natin ang net, net worth ni uh, Jeff Bezos ay nasa 154 billion na. 154 billion dollars ang kanyang net worth. Amen? So kung sa pesos, kinuwenta ko eh. Sa pesos, sabi, 7.5 quadrillion pesos. Parang nahirapan niya i-calcula ito nung kinuwenta, kinuwenta niya eh. Quadrillion. At sa dirhams, 550 billion dirhams na ito. Amen? Wow, amazing, di ba? Amazing yung uh, uh, kayamanan na yun. And it, it, I read one article, I mean, uh, this morning, an interesting article which I'm going to read for you. I mean, uh, uh, hindi lang uh, babasahin kundi matatanong natin sa sarili. I mean, I edited some of them to make it shorter, much easier for us to understand. Sabi, in 1850, 94% of the world's population live in extremely poverty. Today, we've managed to bring that number down to roughly 10%. Diba? Nagkaroon ng recession dati, 1800s. Amen? At ngayon, uh, yung mga may hirap ay 10% na lang siguro living in poverty. And if this trend continues, you might even succeed in eradicating poverty by 2030. Sabi doon sa article. If that doesn't tell you that our world is getting richer, then how about this? What if you had 150 billion dollars? Kung meron ka 150 billion, 15, 50 billion dollars just like Jeff Bezos. Ano gagawin mo sa 150 billion dollars? Amen? The idea of that much money is enough to make your head spin. But don't tell me you've never dreamed about it. To become rich. Amen? Bringing it down even further, it means you would have to spend. Kung si Jeff Bezos ngayon ay, ay 56 years old, sabi natin tatagal pa siya ng 25 years years sa kanyang life, di ba? Almost 80 na siya. Kung tatagal pa siya ng 25 years of his life, with that wealth, sabi doon na mag-spend siya ng uh, every year ng 6 billion dollars every year. Sa so 25 years. Kung kukuntahin natin yung 500 million dollars every month. Sa so 25 years, every month pwede siya mag-spend ng 500 million dollars monthly. At every day, amen, kinuwenta doon 16.6 million dollars every day pwede niyang gastuhin, gastusin in order to spend 150 billion dollars. Amen? The question is, what will you do? Amen? What could you do? What Would you buy a giant house? Siguro gagawin natin, buy a big house or private plane or the most expensive jewels? Would you make the world a better place? Could you even live long enough to spend it? Amen? Hallelujah. Kung 25 years nga, eh, mahaba na rin yun, di ba? Pero sapat ba yung kanyang, kanyang uh, panahon sa mundong ito para spend ang pera na yun? But a lot of us, it's hard to quantify that kind of money, sabi sa article. So to help put in all in perspective, here are some of the things you could buy with 150 billion. You've been thinking about the dream vacation for a while and now you can finally go whether you want or as long as you want. Di ba? Kahit saan sulok ang mundo, pwede ka nang pumunta. You can even own a big island resort. Sabi nga, you can even buy a country. Sabi doon na Costa Rica. Pwede mo rin bilhin ng one of the countries, Costa Rica. Amen? With that money. So you can buy a ship, a battleship, Amen? With, with uh, sabi natin na uh, aircraft carrier, pwede kang bumili. With, with half of this fortune, you can buy the world's largest royal domain, yung mga palasyo. You can buy, sabi doon, yung White House for $400 million. Buckingham Palace, 
for 5 billion. St. Petersburg's Winter Palace, 6.4 billion. Tokyo's Imperial Palace, which is so expensive, 12.25 billion. Or you can just buy the Louvre, you know, yung mga may painting, with all its contents for 45 billion. Ang dahil mga gawa sa 150 billion, di ba? But while you might call that a win-win, it's important to remember for some, that some, for some people, a billion in the bank is not just a reality, but a serious responsibility. Amen? Bakit ka may perang ganun? Of course, it's a big responsibility. $150 billion is, not, is enough money to put roughly 1.5 million students through American college for four years. Considering that it could only cost an estimated $100 billion that can take a long path of sustainable living and environmental protection. Amen? Of course, we could always diversify and tackle several world issues at once. A team of some of the world's top economists claim that an annual investment of $3 billion could reduce malnutrition in the developing country by 36%. Right? You can help those who are hungry, saving over 100 million children from starvation each year. There are trends that could only become most cost-effective as they continue to be funded. And may kung patuloy ito, bibigyan ng budget, di ba? To be funded. It may seem like a sad reality to consider that money really does make the world go wrong, but that doesn't mean we have to think selfishly. It's a responsibility. To put towards a good cause, money can make a world of difference. Sabi, to put towards a good cause, money can make a world of difference. Lifting people out of poverty and stimulating growth, education, and innovation. It seems like those with money are often judged by how they use it. As long as enough people remain willing to give back, then perhaps we might all consider ourselves fortunate. So how about it? What would you do with $150 billion? Baka mamaya, hindi kayo makatulog ngayong gabi, ha? Kaisip niyan. <laughs> Can it buy all the things you want in this world? Yun po yung tanong. With this kind amount of money that, that can fall in the pockets of a Christian believer, can save a lot of people from poverty, hunger, sorrows, or sickness. Is this the life that our Lord Jesus was telling in our text in John 10.10? 10? That I have come, what? That they may have life and may have it more abundantly. Yung ba yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na isang kanyang, sabi kasi yung sinasabi doon, they, 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 it emphasizes yung sheep, di ba, doon sa text. Kung titignan natin yung context nito, it talks about the sheep. That I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. It is a promise Jesus, of course, made for the sheep and we could, what, believe it and claim, claim natin to. I mean, promise to Jesus, di ba, na pumunta siya dito for us to have abundant life. He is the good shepherd who gave his life for the sheep. Amen. Yes, it could mean blessing financially or material, materially like those ships, di ba? Makita natin yung ship is abundant of water and food, di ba? Not only that, of course, sila ay secured with the, the, with the shepherd, amen, and protected sila. So, sabi sa Ecclesiastes 7.12, Ecclesiastes 7.12, mga ngaral sa Tagalog. So, ang Biblia nyo ay Tagalog, mga ngaral. Amen? Chapter 7, verse 12. Sabi doon, for wisdom is a defense, as money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom, what, gives life to those who have it. What does it mean? Of course, advantage, amen, na meron tayong money, sapagkat defense to, protection to, di ba? Pero sabi, yung excellence way of having money and wisdom is, sabi, it gives life to those who have it. Kailangan may wisdom ka. Hindi lang meron kang pera, of course. Nagiging excellent ang paghawit ng pera kapag ka meron tayong karunungan, wisdom, knowledge, kaalaman. Praise the Lord. As a Christian, we should view money as our defense, of course. Amen? Uh, protection, of course, protection natin to from hunger. We use money to consult a doctor. Amen? We, when we are sick, we use money to buy medicine. At... Uh, uh, using money to get our, siguro yung iba sa atin, meron life insurance, nag-invest like tayo, 
to something in the future. Amen? Of all of this, we use money. Amen? Because it's, it's a defense. Kung magkakasakit tayo, it's a defense. Protection natin ng money. Kasi kung wala kang pera, kung magkasakit ka, paano ka na? Di ba? So, masabi natin na sa context na yun, uh, sheep are in danger of being attacked. Di ba? Iyon yung sheep. Sapagkat sila ay masabi natin, ano, uh, uh, prone to hurt. Amen? And, uh, uh, kasi mga defenseless sila eh. Hindi naman malalakas yung mga sheep, di ba? Defenseless. Pag may bis na dumating, wala sila mga gawa. Amen. Uh, sabi natin, weak sila compared to many animals. Weak sila. And afraid. Lagi silang afraid. And one of the thing is they lack intelligence. Hindi ganun karunong ang mga sheep. Amen. But when we trust Jesus, our shepherd, of course, we are called sheep of His pasture, right? Tayo. Amen. Kung kukumpere natin mga nangyayari ngayon sa mundong ito, masabi natin, uh, we are defenseless, di ba? Hindi natin, hindi ka, nat, maraming mga bagay, problema tayo na hinaro sa buhay natin na hindi natin alam kung paano mabibigyan ng solusyon. Amen. And mostly, ano na agad yung fear natin, yung worries natin. Pag yun, inatake tayo. Amen. Masabi natin, amen, uh, morally and, as, and physically, eh, yung ating Yeah, defense mechanism, humihina, di ba? When we are so stressed, natatakot tayo, I mean, so worried, yun po tendency. And uh, when we trust Jesus, our, our, our good shepherd, masay po natin, who dis- demonstrated his love toward us. Sabi nga sa Romans 5, di ba? That uh, he gave his life for us. At uh, imagine, di ba, tayo mga sheep, with all-powerful Jesus leading the front, sa buhay natin, kung sino muna is at the front of our lives, amen? Of, of the flock, sabihin natin, who are weak, fearful sheep. The sheep becomes what formidable, nagiging malakas tayo. Kasi ang, yung, yung shepherd natin nandun sa harapan natin, di ba? Amen. Hallelujah. At masasabi natin, we become what? Full of strength and power when Jesus is, when are before Jesus, di ba? So, kahit na gano'ng kalakas yung mga ox, mga uh, fox o lions, sabi natin, uh, mga uh, snakes or mga, sabi natin na mga uh, predators na stronger than the, than the sheep, we become much stronger than them because our good shepherd amen, is leading us along the way. Amen. Siya yung nagiging defense natin. At hindi lang yon hindi lang strength. Kaya nga, wisdom is defense, di ba? Imagine natin si Jesus who is all wise, who is the one who leading us the front of us who are in, an intelligent and wise sheep. We become what? Wiser than our enemies. Kapag si Jesus yun nasa front natin. So, whatever cunningness or the seat of Satan against us is no match to the wisdom of Jesus. Amen? And that is if we will trust in Him. If we will depend on Him. Amen? He became our what? So, kaya nga sabi, uh, the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Praise the Lord. So, our security is, and defense is outstanding whenever Jesus is with us because our strength and, and wisdom comes from our Lord. Jesus Christ. Kaya lang, there are many superficial Christians. Ano ba yung superficial Christian na tinatawag? Yung lang surface lang nakikita nila. Yung what is obvious, what is uh, 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 sabihin natin nakikita lang ng mata nila. And uh, masabi natin, even church leaders who, got, who greatly misinterpreted the verses, itong verses na binasa natin si John 10.10. Nakala na pag sinabing abundant life, it talks only about what? money or material things. So that's why, because many understand only what is apparent, what is, what is obvious on material things, they don't have deeper what understanding or view of this verse. Kaya nga ngayon, nagdusulputan yung maraming mga, mga doctrine about uh, uh, prosperity, gospel, amen, na, na uh, ini-insight nila yung emosyon ng tao, yung feeling ba? Amen. 
Hallelujah. About material things. So abundant life, of course, refers to life that is, uh, masabi po natin, abounding in, or abounding, or have fullness of joy. Yung nga sabi sa Bible, di ba? In your presence there is fullness of joy. Sabi nga, uh, hindi lang yon. you abound in strength. Strength in spirit, mind, body, soul. Yun po yung sinasabi natin, abundant life. Abundant life signifies, masabi natin, contrast with which are uh, the contrast which uh, people na kung saan they feel uh, uh, they feeling lack, they feeling em- they feel emptiness and this uh, this uh, satisfaction in life. Hindi po yun yung abundant life. Hindi ba? Kaya nga, such feelings may modi- modify the person to seek the meaning of life and change in their life. Kaya may mga tao na marami, nagsisik sila kasi may emptiness sila. Amen. Kulang pa sila. Ay na, believe yung, yung pera, hindi po kaya nung i-feel yung emptiness ng buhay natin. Kahit nasabihin natin, 200 billion dollars yan. And when we the outcries, it will not what? We will not be satisfied in our life. We will not find the meaning of life. Amen? Kung doon lang tayo nakapokus sa material things. Sapagkat life consists of what? Hindi lang ito physical na, na, na dabuhay natin. Meron tinatawag na spiritual life. Amen? Ano ito yan? Na hindi kayang isatisfy ng, ng uh, 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 daigdig na ito. Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, what profit it is for a man to gain the whole world and yet loses his soul. Amen? Alleluia. Hindi niya kayang bayaran. Amen? Ang kaligtasan ng ating kaluluwa. Kahit na makamit natin ang yaman ng buong mundong ito. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka, hindi, mo, hindi masasatisfy ang buhay mo with that joy, with that uh, strength na nagagaling sa Panginoon at yung peace na tinatawag kapayapahan. Amen? Yung true peace na tinatawag. So, abundant life for a perso- person begins with new birth. Right? Kaya nga, pag sinabing uh, uh, born again Christian, born of God, is nasa atin ni abundant life. Yung sinasabi ni Jesus, I have come to to have life and have it abundantly. To give them life and, and life abundantly, di ba? Yung kanyang mga sheep. So abundant life is a new relationship with God. Amen? Yung new motivation na tinatawag, new relationship with people, new relationship with your family, your neighbor, your friends. When we, when we become born again, nakita po natin na uh, uh, nabago po yung relasyon natin, amen, sa tao, di po ba? Nabago yung pagtingin natin sa tao. Ganon din po, kapag tayo naging born again, nabago na rin po relationship natin sa kasalanan. Amen? Nabago na yung relasyon natin sa kasalanan. Kung dati po, uh, uh, for us, it's like a game. Amen? To, to sin. Parang, parang lalo lang sa ating magkakasa, magkasala. Pero ngayon, napaka-aware natin, di ba? Pagkat maro, mayroon ta tayong bagong pakikipagrelasyon sa Diyos at bagong pakikipagrelasyon din sa kasalanan. So the growth of Christian maturity of that person continues, hindi po ito natatapos. Amen? Kaya nga yung isang ship, di ba, hindi naman natatapos yun sa isang kainan lang. Abundant light na. Tayo mga Christian, dapat nag-grow tayo in maturity in our relationship with God. We learn, we uh, continuous with learning to live abundantly. Amen. Paano tayo? We need to learn to live abundantly, being cleansed from sin, and learning what to fight spiritual battles. Amen. Spiritual troubles. Yung problema po na nakikita lang natin sa ating mata. Hindi lang po yun ang problema natin. Hindi lang po yun ang digma natin. May tinatawag po spiritual battles. Lahat na nangyayari sa physical, eh, may, may kinalaman po ang bagay na spiritual dito. Amen? Eh, whether we know it or not, uh, there is, there's, a, there's a kingdom that called, there's a realm that called spiritual realm na kung saan hindi natin nakikita. Amen? Eh, Kaya nga sabi sa Bible, God is spirit and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. At may kinatawag na prince of the power of the air which is Satan. Amen. So, sabi sa Romans 3:23-24, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely 
by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So dito po tayo, uh, uh, we continue to learn. Amen. As a Christian, uh, sabi doon, nagkakasala tayo. Lahat tayo nagkakasala. Lahat ng tao, walang exempted. Amen. Maliban sa ating Panginoon Diyos na anak ng Diyos na si Jesus na naboy sa mundong ito. Pero lahat tayo ay nagkakasala at hindi tayo makaabot doon sa kalawalatian ng Diyos. Yung pinagsabing kalawalatian ng Diyos ay standard ni God. Hindi tayo wala nakarating sa standard ni God. The standard of holiness, of righteousness, wala. Sabi, naging matuwid lang tayo sa harapan ng Diyos dahil sa kanyang handog sa atin. Amen yung biyaya niya. Handog, bigay sa atin. So, magitan ng pagtubos ng ating Panunso Kristo. So, Christian salvation is and maturity is not reliance on what? Hindi tayo nag sa self-effort natin, o masabi natin yung uh, devotion natin, meditation, or good works, self-denial of words, word, worldly pleasures, amen, self-control over desires. Hindi po doon nakasalalay ang ating maturity or salvation natin. Amen. But believing in the redemption from sin through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Huwag po natin kalilimutan yun. Amen. Hindi po yun yung isang one time lamang na knowledge natin. Dapat po lagi natin re-remind na sarili natin that, that uh, uh, yung, yung, uh, yung redemption na ginawa ni, ni Jesus sa atin from sin. Amen. Lagi natin alalahanin iyon. Kaya nga sabi niya, ah, uh, uh, kaya nga tayo nagkakuminyon, di ba? Ang sabi niya, do this in remembrance of me. Sabi rin sa uh, Romans 4, 24-25, may tinatawag na righteousness of Christ. Do you know that? Na kung saan, inimpute sa atin. Righteousness na kung saan, hindi sa mamagitan natin, kaya tayo nakakaharap kay God. Not righteousness because we are doing good works. Sabi doon, uh, it shall be imputed to us who believe in Him who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Ano po ang ibig sabihin dito? Kasi it talks about Abraham. Paano ba na-justify si Abraham? Not of works. Amen? Kundi by faith. Kaya si Abraham... Uh, hindi, hindi siya naging righteous before God because of his works, but because of his faith. So sayabi doon, kaya nga sabi, uh, 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 na yung inimpute na righteousness niyo kay Abraham is not because of what he did, kundi dahil yung faith niya kay God. Kaya nga sabi, and he believed. Abraham believed and accounted to him for righteousness. Diba? So the same thing with us, sabi, kaya sabi rito, but also for us. Amen. Napaka-bless natin, diba? But also for us, it shall be imputed. Ano ba ibig sabihin na imputed? Imputed means assigned. May inassign sa atin yung righteousness ni Christ. Inassign sa atin, uh, uh, sa, uh, sa Tagalog, ibinilang, itinalaga sa atin parang attributes ipinangalan sa atin o inilagay sa atin, inimpute sa atin. Amen. Ano siya sabi rito, imputed, yung righteousness ni Christ. The righteousness apart from works. So Christian salvation and hope rely in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Kaya nga sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15:13 to 14, hindi lang yung yung uh, yung uh, kamatayan ni Christ na pagtubos sa atin sa kanasalanan, kundi yung resurrection ni Christ. Amen. Doon nakasalala yung ating salvation, yung maturity natin, yung ating pag-asa. Sabi that, there, but if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, risen, our preaching is empty and our faith is also empty. Ganun po yung ating, sabi nga, hope, this hope does not disappoint us. Dumating sa atin ng napakaraming mga problema. Amen. But sabi sa Romans 5, we are justified by faith. 
and we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ano ba ang sabi doon? Na uh, because of Him, we have access by faith in the grace in which we stand. Nang dahil sa ginawa ni Christ, meron tayong, meron tayong kapayapaan sa ating, sa ating Diyos. Nang dati kaaway tayo, pero ngayon tayo ay nareconcile sa Kanya. Nagkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan. In the abundant life na tinatawag. At ano pa sabi doon, we have received hope to the glory of God. At sabi doon, not only that, but we also glory in, in tribulation. Kaya yung mga nangyayari sa ating buhay, whether nandun tayo sa uh, uh, kakulangan or, or sabihin natin na, na abundant, abundance, o sabihin natin na uh, Uh, nagugutom tayo or, or we are filled, sabi nga, we learn to be content. Right? Kaya sabi, we also glory in tribulation because tribulation produces perseverance. Ilan sa atin na because of this crisis na nangyayari, eh, mas lalo pa tayo naging determinado sa buhay. Naging mapagtiisin pa tayo yung ating pagtitiis ay lalo pang naging uh, mat- matibay, di ba? Amen? At sabi daw, hindi lang patience, kundi patience produces character. What is character? Yung character, diyan lumalabas yung, yung uh, pag-time ng crisis, diyan lumalabas ang character ng isang Christian. Nakuha ba natin? Hindi natin mababasa yung isang Christian na, oh, ang galing-galing niyang kumanta, ang galing-galing niyang magpuri. Makita po natin karakter niya kapag ka sa oras ng problema, sa oras ng crisis. Paano hinaharap na isang Krisyano? Ano ang reaksyon niya sa mga pangyayari na nangyayari sa paligid niya? Yun po yung karakter na tinatawag. How we react to situation. Sabi, yung, yung tribulation na yan, I mean, we can glory sa mga pagsubo, sa mga paghihirap na nangyayari, sapagkat it will produce it. We will grow in our character. At sabi lang, sabi pa, hindi lang karakter. Karakter produce hope. Amen? Nasa kabila ng mga, mga paghihirap na ito at pagtitiis na ito, amen, sa mga problema na kung saan ating, uh, uh, ating hinaharap, nakita rin natin it produce hope. Lalo tayo umaasa sa Diyos. Amen? Hindi tayo nawawala ng pag-asa. At sabi, hope does not disappoint us. For the love of God is poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which was given to us. So doon po makita natin, Amen, Hallelujah, na, na ang abundant life is, uh, uh, yes, Jesus came to, for us to have, to have this abundant life. Pero tingnan po natin yung malalim na sinasabi ng ating Panang sa Kristo. So abundant life refers to a life being called and chosen to live according to God's plans and purposes. Amen. Alam niyo yung yung pera na yun na nasa kamay ng bawat tao, sabihin na natin, pera, sample. Ano mang pera o kayamanan inilagay sa atin ng Panginoon sa pagpapala, hindi yan nilagay diyan para lamang sabihin natin na uh, uh, I-bless lang yung sarili natin. Meron plano ang Panginoon sa lahat ng binibigay niya sa ating buhay. At tinitingnan niya how we're going to manage, how we're going to steward, amen, yung mga things na pinagkatiwala niya sa atin. Could it be, amen, sa trabaho natin, posisyon na abit sa ating, sa, sa society na ito. Amen. Could it be, uh, yung packet natin, bakit niya, Pinupuno ito ng maraming pera. Kung it be, bakit, bakit ang dami natin time? Ano yung nais ng Panginoon? Ngayon, marami tayong time dahil nandito tayo sa bahay. Marami ang lockdown. So God has giving you abundant time. Anong ginawa mo sa abundant time na yan? Na binigay sa'yo ng Panginoon. Kasi napaka-wasted naman ang mga time na binigay sa atin. This free, free time. Kung tayo ay mag-isip lamang ng mga problema, mag-worry lang tayo. 
it will not help us. Otherwise, it will make our lives what? Worse. Kapag ka, ang, ang, ang pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Panginoon, hindi natin na-handle na mabuti. Amen? And yet, before this happened, amen, ito yung hihiling natin, kailan kaya ako magkakaroon ng time para sa aking pamilya? Kailan kaya ako magkakaroon ng time para magpray? Kailan kaya ako magkakaroon ng time para magbasa ng salita niya? Ay ngayon, binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Sabi sa salita ng Diyos, tayong lahat ay makusulit sa Kanya. Kung anong ginawa natin sa buhay na ito. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, maybe when you are listening to this message, ang dami-daming nagwa-wonder yung thoughts natin. Amen? Kung saan-saan, ang napupunta yung ating isip, ang dami yung ating mga tanong. And we view, when we view our life, ito yung mga question natin, why I still lack in many things? Why I was being oppressed? When Jesus had come, I meant to give me abundant life. Bakit? Why I am being attacked? Why I am being what harassed? Why for me, life is so unfair? Ang dami natin question, di ba yung mga ganyan? Amen? So I cannot answer you uh, specifically. Kayo nakakaalam sa buhay niyo kung bakit ganyan. Of course, tarun natin sa Panginoon. Amen? Let us face Him. Nag-iintay lang siya lagi to face Him face to face. Amen. And as a father, yun ang gusto na ating father. To hear from his children. Lagi lang nag-iintay ang Panginoon. Alam ko minsan tayo, nawa na sa atin yung mga, yung mga inanakit agad. Amen. Yung mga katanungan agad. Pero ano ba kung titingnan natin with all these questions in our mind, I can say, you still have hope. Hapang nagbubuhay tayo, you still have hope. Amen? You still have hope. You still alive to ask about it. May imagine niyo ba yun? Mapal ka kasi nakapagtatanong ka pa ng mga ganun tanong kasi buhay ka pa. Solomon, the wisest and most powerful king in his time, the richest man in his generation, said something in Ecclesiastes 9.46. Ecclesiastes 9.46. Kaya nga huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. And let us ask God, kung hindi na kailangan ng Lord, makipag-one-on-one tayo kay Father. Amen. Siya hindi siya nagkukulang, maaaring tayo nagkukulang. Ecclesiastes 9.46 sabi, But for him who is joined to all the living, there is hope. Ecclesiastes 9.4 9.4-6 Sabi, For him who is joined to all the living, there is what? There is hope. Are you joined with the living? Yeah. When you got born again, you already, already live. You already alive. Sabi, for a living dog is better than a dead lion. Ang may malakas na leon kung patay naman, di ba? Nakagawa natin? Aaluhin ng isang tao ang yaman kung patay naman ang kanyang espiritu. Aaluhin ng isang tao makapangyarihan ang lahat ng kapangyarihan na nasa kanya kung ang kanya namang espiritu ay patay. Remember that, that uh, foolish uh, rich man doon sa Luke 12, yung pinag-aral natin last time? Ang dami-dami niya yung pera. Abundant yung kanyang harvest for that, what, for, that, for that year. Imbis na kung saan, ah, sobra-sobra pala itong aking ari. Eh, ang dami nagugutom sa paligid ko. Dapat pinamigay niya na ni mga excess niya, di ba? At hindi lang, of course, excess. Kung kinakailangan nating hallelujah, na magbigay sa mga nararapat pagbigyan. Pero ang masabi niya, hindi, I will build a bigger barn. Mas lalo ko pang lalakihan yung aking storage para mag-fit lahat ng aking mga yaman. Yun yung sinasabi ni Rockefeller. How much money is enough? Sabi, a little bit more. Hindi siya na-satisfied. Sabi pa nga sa Ecclesiastes, uh, those who love silver will not be satisfied with silver. 
Those who love abundant will not be satisfied by increase. Iba imagine natin. Ikaw na 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 na, na uh, obsessed ka siguro sa yaman, gold or silver. Napasin niyo ba yung merong gold? Hindi siya nasasatisfy sa kanyang gold. Bili siya ng bili. Right? So, ganun din sa, sa panahon natin. Ganun din yung pera. Kapag kami nahad mo ang pera, hindi ka masasatisfy. Gusto mo pang magkaroon na magkaroon ng pera kasi love mo yun eh. You got it? Amen. Yung sabi sa Ecclesiastes. At ito sinasabi ni Solomon. Sabi sa verse 5, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. Kaya mapalit ka, buhay ka pa. At may pag-asa ka. Right? Ang kinakailangan mo na siguro talaga, makipag-heart to heart ka kay God. Lord, saan ba ako nagkamali? Ano ba dapat kong gawin? Amen. Lead me. But the dead know nothing and they have no more reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Alam nyo, nakaka, na, nakakatuwa ang nangyayari sa, sa mundo, di po ba? Kung titignan po natin, ha, isa lang po sa example ko. I'm not trying I mean, to uh, uh, de- demoralize yung uh, reputasyon ng isang tao. But tingnan po natin si Michael Jackson. Amen. Alam nyo si Michael Jackson, patay na siya pero kumikita pa lahat ng kanyang mga, mga investment, di ba? Yung mga nilikha niyang album. Alam nyo, nakaka, nakaka-embarrass nga pag nakita nyo yung kinikita ng isang patay dito sa mundo ito. Kumpara sa kinikita natin taon-taon. Kaya na po titignan natin, anong say-say na yun? Hindi na makapapakinabang ni Michael Jackson yung mga kinikita niya. Dahil patay na siya. Ayun niya, pwedeng, pwedeng magamit yung mga material na bagay na yun. So yun sinasabi ko sa Ecclesiastes, mapalat ka at buhay ka pa. But because the dead know nothing, wala na silang alam. Sabi, they have no reward for their memory of them, for the memory of them is forgotten. Right? So anin mo ang napakaganda mong record dito sa mundong ito. Ang maganda mo pina, ang, maganda, ang pangalan mo na pinaganda mo no ikaw na bubuhay dito. Kung wala naman si Kristo sa iyo, it is nothing. Sapagat lahat tayo mga matay. Amen. Hindi po wala pong uh, uh, doesn't matter sa sa eternity o sa langit yung anuman yung legacy na iniwan mo dito. Wala po yung plus. Mga kapatid, lahat po tayo harap sa Diyos, pantay-pantay po tayo. Amen. At tayo po ay mapupunta lamang sa kanyang piling dahil sa kanyang biyaya. Lahat po tayo ng dahil lang sa biyaya ng Diyos. Kaya makakarating ng langit. Amen. Wala po nung na, 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 na uh, pataasan na kung saan, alam mo na nagbubuhay ako doon, ganito, ganito, ganyan. Even David, even, even these people, sila po, hindi sila pwede magyabang. Na, kami, namatay kami, nung, namatay kami kay Kristo, ganito ginawa namin, hindi sila pwede magyabang lahat tayo. Pantay-pantay sa langit. Biyaya lang ng Diyos kaya tayo nasa sala, mapupunta sa langit. So the same thing, kung titingnan po natin, amen, alilis, sa buhay na ito, amen, pag sumikapan po natin na, 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 na bigyan ng halaga yung mga, yung mga bagay na, na eternal. Let us pursue those things that has eternal value. Sa iyo pa sa verse 6, Also, their love, their hatred, their envy have now perished. Ano man mga tanong nila, ano man mga hinanakit nila, ano man mga pagmamahal nila, mga itinulong nila, sabi, wala nang mangyayari doon because patay na sila. Never, never more will they have a share in anything done under the sun. Ito po yung sinabi ni Solomon. Isa pong wise king, rich king, powerful king. At ito naman po sinabi ni Job sa, sa Job 14:7 to 9. Si Job po na, na dumanas ng matinding hirap. Amen. Pero nabuhay siya na may integridad, with integrity. Na mismo sinabi ng Panginoon, walang katulad si Job. 
Pero ano nangyari kay Job? Sinubukan siya, di ba? Nawala lahat sa kanya, yaman, nawala sa kanya ang ang uh, ang uh, ang pamilya niya, nawala sa kanya ang kalusugan niya. Pero one thing I can see, amen, sa pananampalataya ni Job. Sabi niya sa Job 14 verse 7 to 9. Job 14 7 to 9. For there is hope for a tree if it is cut down that it will sprout again and that its tender shoots will not cease. Though its root may grow old in the earth and its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water, it will bud and bring, bring forth branches like a plant. Nakita po natin yung faith ni Job, di po ba? Right? Nakita po natin na sa kanyang kalagayan na yun, nakututuusin pag tinignan sa mata ng tao, na ba't wala nang kapag-apag-asa po? Amen. Nandun na nga lang siya sa, 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 sa uh, lupa, doon na siya natutulog sa tabi ng mga abo. Kasi pag nangangati yung kanyang mga sugat, kailangan niya pahira ng abo. Nagnanaknak yung mga sugat niya. Pero sabi ko ni, ni Job, even a tree that is cut down, ano man nangyari sa kanyang buhay? Amen. There's always a hope that this tree, amen, will bring forth branches like a plant. Because Job hope in God. And he said, My Redeemer lives and He lives forever. My Redeemer lives and He lives forever. Mga kapatid, we only live once in this world. And our time to spend here on earth is so little. Yung binasa kayo ng Sister Amor, I mean, sa Psalms 103. Ang sabi doon, As for man, anong sabi doon? Uh, his days are like grass, like a flower in the field. Amen. It flourishes. But when the wind passes over it, it is gone. And its place, there's no remembrance of it anymore. Mga kapatid, let us view our life. Amen. Let us, let us uh, be serious sa buhay na ito. Napakapalad po natin na nakakarig tayo ng mga salita ng Diyos. Napakapalad natin na natuturuan tayo ng salita ng Diyos. But then kung tayo nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos and then after a while, we will go to live. Amen. Hallelujah. The same thing again. Again and again. Ganun pa rin. Living in sin, playing with sin. Eh, ang buhay natin dito, napakaisi lang. Amen. At kung tayong tao na kung saan, uh, uh, we selfly, selfishly live in this earth, para ako lang, ako lang. No. Let us look at Jesus. Tingnan po natin siya. And we have to have the same kind of mind as the Lord. Who didn't think only of his own interest, but uh, the interest of others. Amen. So whether you have 150 billion dollars or one dollar, antalong, how did you handle it? Amen. Where did you spend it? Sa nating ginamit. Life's abundance doesn't does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Sabi ng ating pangalan sa Kristo. Hindi po na nasusukat ang buhay sa dami ng ating na-accumulate sa mundong ito. Baka naman sobra-sobra na yung ating naipon. It's time for us to share it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ito nga yung uh, kanginanginan daw sabi, It's not about how much you are having, but how much you are affording. Ako ba natin? It's not how much you are having, but how much you are affording. Kung paano natin ginagamit to for a cost. Amen. 
Sabi pa rito sa Ecclesiastes 9 to 10, kung bababa natin, amen. Sabi ni Solomon, Whatever your ha hand finds to do, do it with your might. For there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Got it? Amen. So hindi po nasusukat ang ating, ating yung abundant of prosperity na life and the things of material. Yes, people can, people can judge you through their eyes. Society can judge you. Ay, ah, ito, success ito kasi mayaman. Pero sabi nga, huwag natin pakinggan lahat sinasabi ng tao. Pinorot ko na sa ating group, di ba? Ang pagsikaba natin ay sasabihin ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Sa quality ng buhay na nasa atin ngayon. And in fact, Jesus already offered to us an abundant life. Amen. And it's still open. The door is still open. Kung may mga bagay pa na nagiging halang, kaya tayo uh, uh, hindi makaranas ng tunay kapayapaan, ng tunay kagala ka sa buhay natin, I think there's nothing wrong with God. Amen. Tayo may fault doon. And we need to be serious. Gamitin natin mga oras natin na binibigay yung buhay nito na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Amen. To know more about Him. To know, to, to, to know Him more better. So there is a work. Kaya sabi, whatever you, your hand finds to do, there, there is a work. At kailangan maging diligent tayo sa, sa ating uh, pagtatrabaho, di ba? Sa ating buhay nito. We need to walk in wisdom. Sabi nga sa Bible that to redeem the time because the days are evil. Pag sinabi redeem the time, take every opportunity. Take every opportunity to help people. Amen? Take every opportunity to bless people. Take every opportunity to forgive people. Amen? To love people. Huwag natin sayangin na panahon natin sa bitterness. Hallelujah! We need to be good with people. Tara nga sabi sa Bible, uh, 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 we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Right? Amen. Use that opportunity. Ano man meron sa atin, whether it's money or time gamitin po natin to help people, to bless people. Marami na tayong time para pag-pray ang mga tao. Amen. Mag-share ng salita niya sa mga tao, sa mga lost. Kaya nga sabi, if there is other commandment, or I'll sum up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does not harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. King Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, lived who wrote Ecclesiastes, was a seeker on a quest. Pag binasa niyo Ecclesiastes, He's seeking for a quest for the meaning and purpose of life. So kaya yung insight niya about wisdom, alam niyo, tinignan ko yung Ecclesiastes at makikita niyo doon yung word na vanity. Amen. At nung sinerge ko yung vanity, ang Ecclesiastes consists of 12 chapters. 12 chapters. Alam niyo ba? Sa 12 chapters na iyon, isa lang ang chapter na walang word na vanity. Chapter 10. Amen? Because it tells us about Solomon. When he became king, God gave him what? The opportunity of a lifetime. He led a nation. Amen? And in the time for prosperity, makita po natin, Hallelujah, Solomon could ask for, for, for anything he desired. Kasi andun yung kanyang wisdom, andun yung kanyang popularity, andun yung kanyang kapangyarihan. Amen. Strength. Money. Solomon asked for wisdom that he could rightly govern the nation in which God faithfully given to him. The Bible, masagyo natin, stated that God gave Solomon a wise and understanding heart. But this does not mean that he understood everything at once. Hindi po. 
Si Solomon po ano, inapply niya yung kanya sarili to pursuit knowledge. Amen. Handa po nakita natin na marami siyang yung kanyang buhay ginamit niya to 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 uh, make the life of people easy. To build a nation. Amen. To help people. He did that. Kaya alam what the things that we did we didn't expect to him from him. Solomon took hundreds of foreign wives and concubines. Sabi nga, 1,700 wives and 300 concubines. And then he let their idolatry influence him. Yung po nangyari ka, Solomon. Nagpabaya siya. So he began to search for the meaning of life. Masay po natin siguro na wala yung joy niya, yung peace. Dahil sa idolatry, sumamba siya sa just Diyosan. Imbis na sa Diyos, amen, na kung saan ibigay niya yung glory. Imbis na sa Diyos kung saan ah, ah, yung mga blessing na binigay sa kanya ay honor niya si God. Ano nangyari? Tumingin siya sa mga Diyos Diyosan. Doon siya nag-alay ng kanyang mga sacrifice. At natagpuan niya ang sarili niya. Amen. Lahat ng kanyang mga ginawa is all vanity. Amen. Of course, in one sense, we, we should be glad that nangyari ito kay Solomon. Sapagkat kung hindi nangyari yun, wala tayong babasahin patungkol. Amen. Wala siyang isi-share sa atin patungkol sa kanyang experience na ngayon pinag-aaralan natin. Amen. That because he left us an account of the futility of life, ng vainness, ng vanity of life without trust in God. Amen? So nangyari po yun at nasunod sa Bible para malaman natin na lahat sa mundong ito will be futile kung wala tayong pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Kung wala tayong relasyon sa Diyos. Kaya nga sabi niya, Amen, sa Ecclesiastes, ang dali po itong kami sa doon, Ecclesiastes 12, verses 13, 14. Diba? 12, 13, 14. The last Verses, the last two verses of the book of Ecclesiastes. Ano sabi doon? Sabi ni Solomon, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Hallelujah. Right? Sabi niya, ito po yung lahat-lahat. Fear God. Matakot tayo sa Diyos. Amen. And keep His commandments. Sundin natin yung mga utos ng Diyos. Maaring God is telling you, Anak, wag mong gawin ito. But because you don't have fear in God, patuloy yung ginagawa, yung mali. Amen. Maraming sinasabi niya sa iyo, Anak, huwag mong panoorin yan. Isang natin, pornography. Pero dahil wala akong takot sa Diyos, na alam mo nakakakita ng lahat, patuloy ka. Amen. Nanonood ng mga bagay na na nagpapolyot lang ng, ng mind. At spirit ng tao. Maraming sinasabi niya, Lord, Anak, huwag ka magsalita ng ganyan. But because we don't fear God, patuloy at patuloy ka pa rin sa, sa buhay, sa dati mong buhay. But of course, God is off, offering us, amen. If you're going to repent, He's giving us, amen, His mercy to forgive us. Kaya nga sabi doon, as the Lord feet is As the Father pities His children, the Lord pities those who fear Him. Napakaraga po ng fear of the Lord. Isang fear na kung saan hindi tayo natatakot kay Lord at lalayo tayo sa Kanya, kundi yung fear na because we have the fear of the Lord, lalo tayong lumalapit, lumalapit sa Kanya. Napapalapit sa Kanya. So John 10, 9-10, ano sabi ni Jesus? The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And remember this, Jesus have come that you may have life 
and that you may have it more abundantly. Bakit? Binigay nga niya yung buhay niya for, our, for us, di ba? As a good shepherd, he gave his life for his sheep. Amen? At kung titignan natin yung verse, bago ito, sabi niya, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find what? Pasture. Right? That is abundant life. That is the abundant life. Malaya tayong nakakapasok sa presensya ng Diyos. Amen? Ano ba mga... Can you imagine? Right? Napaka-secure natin. May assurance tayo of our salvation. Right? Sapagkat binigay ni, ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay. in niya sa atin yung ating buhay na walang hanggan. Binayaran niya yung para sa atin. Na hindi natin kayang bayaran. Amen. Hindi kayang bayaran ng lahat ng yaman ng mundong ito. Ang ating kaligtasan sa loob sa ito. At yung biyaya niya sa atin na tayo magkakaroon ng buhay kasama niya doon sa ito. Mga kapatid, alidiyan mga kapatid, ah, uh, hindi natin alam kung kailan pa tayo makakarig ng mga gantong, mga gantong mensahe, di ba? Pagkat nakita natin kung ano nangyayari sa mundo. Maigsi na. Maigsi na yung panahon mula rito papunta roon sa pagbabalik ng ating Panasok Pisto. Hindi natin alam kung ngayon, pangyang hapon, or bukas, or next week, or next month. But let us, what? Take it seriously. Let us view our lives. Baka hanggang ngayon, nakakarig na nga tayo ng marami salita ni Lord. Eh, binigyan na tayo, mag- tayo para magbasa ng Bible. Pero hanggang ngayon, doon pa rin tayo sa question na bakit ganito, bakit ganito, bakit ganito. Wala na tayo sa stage na yun. Na magtanong pa na magtanong sapagkat isa lang ang dapat nating itanong. Bakit ginawa yun ni Jesus atin? Dahil mahal na tayo. Dahil sa kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. Na siya tayo magkaroon ng abundant life. Magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan sa buhay. Magkaroon tayo ng kagalakan sa buhay. Magkaroon tayo ng fulfillment sa ating buhay. Magkaroon tayo ng kaligtasan sa ating buhay. Mga kapatid, sabi nga, we'll go in and, found, and find pasture. Yung pasture, di ba, yung tulad ng isang pasture, yung pastulan na puno ng covered with grass, covered with, with herbs. Amen. Ako saan doon tayo yada ng Lord? Kaya sabi sa Psalms 23, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hindi ako magkukulang. Because He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Sabi sa verse 3, He restores my soul. Kung naman yung mga bagay na sa buhay natin, He will be able to restore that. Ano pa ba ang ating healing sa Diyos? Praise the Lord. Ang may healing natin sa Diyos ay, of course, yung mga, yung mga mahal natin sa buhay na kung saan, di pa sila ligtas. Amen. Na maranasan din nila yung, yung abundant life na inaalok na ating panang sa Christ sa buhay. Maaaring sa sa mga kakilala natin, nandun na sila sa, sa stage na kung saan. Ito na yung, yung dapit hapon ng kanilang buhay. Let us share the love of Christ. Pagkat hindi pa huli ang lahat, there's still hope for them. There's still hope for us. Praise the Lord. Amen? So dito po tayo magwabakas at uh, I'm uh, asking everyone to Hallelujah to uh, close their eyes, your eyes, and uh, let us pray. Amen. And afterwards, we will do a benediction. God, you are our God, the Father of mercy, the Father of glory. God, we thank you, Lord, today, O oh God, Lord, for we we were dead in our trespasses. We were made alive in Christ. 
We thank you, Lord, because uh, today, O oh God, Lord, you grant us, O oh Lord, the riches of your glory, that you strengthen us with might, O oh God. By the Holy Spirit, thank you, God, because today, O oh God, Lord, it is a prayer that Jesus will dwell in us, Lord, through our faith. That we will be grounded and be rooted, Lord, in this love. God, it is a prayer that we will be able, O oh God, to understand to all the saints, O oh God. Lord, the width, the length, the depth, and the height. Lord, Thank you, Lord, because the love of Jesus passes all knowledge and that we will be filled with the fullness of God. For to you, we, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask of Him, according to the power that works in us, to you, O God, Lord, we give all the honor and glory. God, thank you, and we're praying for every one of us, oh God, Lord. Lord, that you will give us the spirit of knowledge, of wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of Christ. God, it is our prayer, oh God, Lord. That, you, that our eyes of understanding will be open, Lord. Will be enlightened, oh God, for us to know what is the hope of our God. Lord, thank you, Lord, because you have called us for that hope. And we thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that we will know the exceeding greatness of your power God, to those who believe in you. God, this word that you have spoken today, O God, Lord, we are so grateful, O God, Lord, that we can, Lord, listen, O God, Lord, corporately, O God, Lord. And thank you, Lord, because you have shared, Lord, this wonderful message, O God. For us, O God, Lord, to lead, Lord, in that path of life that you have given to us, Lord. To take, O God, in this, in this time, O God, that we are here on earth, Lord. That, Lord, we will finish the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the out and finish of our faith. God, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, O Lord, with the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Thank you also for blessing, Lord, the, our livelihood, O oh God, Lord, that, Lord, we never lack, Lord, any good things, O oh God. You satisfy our mouth with good things, O oh God, that our youth will be renewed like the eagles. Thank you, Lord, that these blessings, O oh God, Lord, hallelujah, will be able, O oh God, to, to use it, O oh God, Lord, to honor you, O oh God, Lord, to glorify your name, O oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for the life you have given to us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. That today, O oh God, we can say, O oh God, that Lord, we are content of everything because you are with us. Thank you, Lord, for this message. And we pray, O oh God, Lord, that as we, Lord, uh, go out, Lord, and share this message, O oh God, Lord, you give us, O oh God, Lord, that spirit, Lord, of love, Lord, that we can share it, O oh God, because, Lord, that love will compel us, O oh God, to share your word, O oh God, to our friends, O oh God, to our relatives, O oh God, Lord, to our acquaintances, O oh God. Lord. Because, Lord, you have come, O oh Lord, not for only to us, O oh God, Lord, but to give, Lord, life to people, O oh God, Lord, that is living in this earth, Lord. We thank you for everything, O oh God, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because, Lord, hallelujah, all things have passed away, O oh God. Behold, new things have come in our lives, Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom. Thank you for the strength, O oh God. Thank you for the peace and for the joy you've given us. In Jesus' name. Just raise your hands right now. Amen. Hallelujah. As we do that benediction. Hallelujah. Jesus is the good shepherd. And the good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. The Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. He will make you to lie down in green pasture. He will lead you beside still water. He will 
lead you in the path of righteousness. He will restore your soul. He will lead you in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though you will walk, or you are walking in the valley of the shadow of death, do not fear, for the Lord is with you. His rod and His staff, He will comfort you. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Your cup will run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.